The study of tax pass-through and its welfare consequences has received considerable attention in economics. While the existing literature focuses on taxes imposing the same amount on all products in the market, which in the paper are referred to as symmetric taxes, in practice, some schemes are asymmetric in the sense that they levy different amounts on competing products or even affect only a subset of them. Since the equilibrium responses to asymmetric taxes are going to affect the relative prices of different products in the market, asymmetric taxes can have large effects on competition and market outcomes. The purpose of this paper is to empirically study the pass-through and effects on market outcomes of a tax levying different amounts of a subset of competing products. The congestion tax on rice sharing implemented in Chicago since January 2020 provides an informative case study to investigate these questions due to the large asymmetries in the tax amounts. The empirical approach of the paper exploits the introduction of the congestion tax as a source of exogenous variation and a difference in regression discontinuity design to estimate pass-through rates and quantify the change in the equilibrium number of rice sharing trips, taxi trips, and congestion. The results of my analysis provide evidence that the congestion tax had economically significant effects on market outcomes. I document a pass-through rate of about 100% on single rides, but incomplete pass-through on shared rides. This pattern can be explained by the fact that ride-sharing companies are peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces. The increased price of ride-sharing led to a significant increase in the number of taxi trips, particularly in the downtown area, where competition for riders is more intense. Partly as a result, the tax did not reduce congestion, and the calibration suggests that it lowered rider surplus by more than $300,000 per day.